Hey everybody, welcome to video number two of the 1913 Duesenberg Cycle Car Body Build Series. So, in the previous video we did the hood and the grill, now we're working on the, what I'm calling the cowl, basically, the area right in front of the steering wheel. So, um, I got to work on this uh, last couple of days and roughed in this part. I thought it was going to be like a, um, a throwaway part, like a practice piece. But it's turning out better than I thought, unless as I progress through it, it, it boogers up and I ruin it. But for right now, uh, what was going to be a practice piece might actually be the final piece because it's fitting so well. Uh, I do have a little bit more to do on it, um, so I'll show you kind of how the process is working and what we're working to achieve. So uh, let's get started. So this is a cowl piece. Um, this uh, technique I used to bend this is the same as I did for the hood. I marked one inch wide lines on the piece and then I ran it through the English wheel with the rubber band on top and then yesterday afternoon uh, when I got home from work my dad stopped by to see kind of what I was working on and uh, he helped me start hammering this shape into it see this little rise that's in there um, we're hammering that on a sandbag and then rolling it in the English wheeling see some wheeling marks kind of in the metal there um, so this is turning out pretty good what we're trying to get is this now let me show you if I can show you on the See that little rise there by the by the steering wheel? Uh, a little bit of a curve in the body line. So that's what we're trying to get there. Um, not quite there yet. I don't have quite enough bend in it yet. But the goal is to get that much, the camera will focus on it, that much curve into it. Sorry, it's too blurry. Um, maybe this is a better photo of it. You can see a little bit of a curve there. Um, and the way this is sitting, the steering wheel is going to be really close to that. So it's important to give it a little bit of clearance. Otherwise, when we go put the steering wheel in there, there may not be enough room, so let me hold the steering wheel up right now and show you what I'm talking about. So the steering wheel is going to be about right about there. You can see it's really close, if, depending on where you put it, you know, where it ends up at. Um, your knuckles could be rubbing, so we're trying to avoid that. So I'm going to try to bend this up a little higher at the ends, at the ends at least. I'm going to try to get this last little bit to curve up a little bit more, kind of, and progress, progressively lose its curve as it comes down to the sides, because this will come down. Kind of this line will come down and continue to the side piece. So anyway, that's what we're working on right now. It's fitting nicely up against the body line at the hood lines. A little tiny bit of gaps in here and there, but that can be taken out as we work the piece. So I didn't film the first part of it because I thought this was going to be a scrap piece, but I think it turned out pretty well. So far anyway, that we're probably going to use it. And also there's going to be this neat little windshield it's not really a windscreen it's more like a dirt screen to catch rocks and stuff like that because most of these cars were driven on dirt tracks and flying debris was a problem so this was there to hopefully protect the driver a little bit i don't think he's going to really protect much but it's designed to be a, a a little bit of a help so we'll make that us also in maybe another video one of the when we do the grill area so uh let's get started so i've got my uh stump that i made a while back Shrinking stuff, and I'm putting my sandbag on top of it just to use the platform. And then, uh, what I'm trying to do with this mallet is stretch this aluminum out here, and I'm using the English wheel to smooth it out. So, I'm trying to get the stretches in here and the English wheel just to take the, the lumps out of it. So, I'm just going to progressively work from one side to the other. So, it's raising this up. And there's little wrinkles in it, so I'm going to keep hammering it so some of those wrinkles go away. And I can English wheel it, hopefully trap that motion movement. Yeah, that's getting some good lip on it now. So I'm going to keep it. Try to smooth it out and get rid of those little wrinkles. Just hitting it right on the edge, about half on the bag and half on the hammer. That's looking better. A little more on this side. All right, let's see if we can wheel that out and get some of those little ripples out and hopefully maintain that rise. Now, yesterday I was doing it the backwards on the wheel. I had it upside down. This seems to be working better when I run it kind of inverted like this. I'm just trying to keep that little edge on there. So I'm kind of running it sideways to try to just 
trap that edge in there and not smash it back down. We got really light pressure on the wheel right now. Just trying to get those little wrinkles out of there that I put in with the hammer. We want it to be a gradual, not like a... The hammer mark shouldn't be visible in the metal once we're done. That's the goal. That took out a lot of that hammer marks already. See, it's already created that lip that I want. So I'm gonna to try to get that a little more of a lip on there. Um, I'm gonna continue taking these hammer marks out real quick to do that. What I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a mark on here for the Sharpie so I know where to stop with the wheeling so I don't go too far into this. I want this to be kind of a gradual, almost angle and then, then curve up. I think I'll do that real quick. Okay, so a little bit of hammering and wheeling. Um, really got a little bit more profile on this, uh, an extra half inch of rise. Previously it measured about one inch when we measured off the frame in here. So it gave us an inch and a half additional clearance from the frame inside here um, to give us room for the steering wheel, hopefully, and your knuckles uh, for the driver. And uh, if I hold the steering wheel, oops, sorry guys. Hold the steering wheel up here. Got a little more clearance around where your knuckles are gonna be. I'm not going to install this just yet until I have the steering column actually installed in the cart because um, I may need to, if I need to change anything, it won't be too late. I don't want to drill a bunch of holes and have to change it later. So anyway, so we'll take a break from this body panel. I think I've got enough shape in that to simulate the original. Uh, the original's up on the wall there, black and white picture. See that rise it's got? It's not real dramatic, but it's a little bit. We're just trying to catch for that little bit of flavor in that. So... If I put a straight edge, you'll see how much. Sorry, guys. If I put a straight edge against that, you'll see how much of a rise we got um, from flat where it started out at. So, a little over an inch. Uh, if I measure from under here, I'm going to put a flat edge under there. It's about an inch and a half of rise from straight edge to the to the top of that. So, and it's kind of progressively gets shallower as it goes down the sides. So, when I build the side panel, it'll have to have a little bit of shape in it as well to kind of match up with this. But that's, uh, we'll do that later. So for now, I think we're good on this and uh, we'll pick up on this video once the steering column's installed. Okay, so we've got the steering wheel installed now and the body panel is gonna work great. I was a little worried about it being too close to the knuckles that I was able to get it far enough forward that we got plenty of clearance. So with the body panel on here, lots of clearance. Uh, I'll show you what that looks like when I sit in the car. So you can bring the camera around here plenty of room for the for the knuckles around the clearance of the right here so it's, I mean, yeah, you can touch it but it's not going to be a problem as far as driving goes um, so that worked out pretty well so yeah so call this cow done video number two is in the can I guess you would say and um, makes it super easy to get in and out with the steering wheel out of the way so the body panels are coming along pretty good um, pretty very I'm very happy with the front end of the car so far uh, we're turning our attention to the back next. We're going to be making a wire form and a tail section for the back end on um, the next one. So uh, thanks for watching the video. Like, subscribe, all that jazz. Have a great day.